All right, students, it's Ms. McKenzie, your K-12 district teacher librarian, and this week's virtual field trip is actually hanging out with the amazing Haley Kuhn. She is our school district resource officer. I'm so excited to get to know her today. Um, so Officer Kuhns, do you wanna go ahead and just uh, share a little bit with us about how you serve the community of Florence in general, and then maybe a little bit more specifically about your role as a resource officer? Uh, yeah, hi guys, I'm Officer Kuhns. I'm your school resource officer. So I serve my community by being a police officer and that can mean so many different things, uh, helping people out. If you guys ever call the police, I'm one of the people who will come out and figure out what's going on, figure out how you guys need help, figure out what I can do to help my community, whether that's catch the bad guys or you know run out and do whatever you guys really need me to do to help keep our community safe and beautiful here. And then um, every day I get to come to school and be with you guys help keep the school safe and figure out whatever you guys need help from me whether that's helping you in the classroom helping you out at school helping you at home figuring out whatever i can do to make sure you guys have the best day all right officer coons i have to ask you about your uniform and equipment because i was in the military for 12 years and it is um our equipment is always very, it's like smart engineering design in terms of like what you're literally uh, putting on your body every day to help you do your job and keep the community safe. And I'm sure you get asked questions about this all the time. So do you wanna give us a tour of your equipment? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So we'll start here at the top and you know work our way down. So right up top is my radio. This is probably one of the most important pieces of gear I have. This is the actual radio. This is just my uh, mouthpiece essentially where I can communicate with um, all the officers in town, um, anyone I need to get a hold of, whether they can give me updates, tell me what I'm on a call I'm going to, um, ask for help, ask for you know anything under the sun really. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Working my way down, I have our body cameras. These are actually new. We got these uh, not too long ago and these record almost everything that we do. Um, they are awesome. So it really helps if sometimes I forget my memory and you know what, oh, what happened? Oh, I got it right here. Okay, mm -hmm. that's super easy. Next, I've got my handcuffs here, super easy. I've got two of them, my favorite color orange. And then I've got a backup pair in case I need it. Next, I have my extra magazines. Those are for my gun. Hope to never have to use these, but they're mm -hmm. there just in case. Um, let's see, extra flashlight, because you never know a dark room. Um, let's see, next here I've got some pepper spray. Um, again, absolutely if I have to use it, but it's a good, good tool to have. Uh, this side, this is gonna be my duty weapon. Does not come out of the holster. I'm sure you guys wanna see it, but it's not coming out, sorry okay. guys. Um, this side, this is gonna be my taser, same kind of deal. It's not coming out of the holster, but it's a tool in case I absolutely have to, in case of emergencies only. Mm -hmm. um, all this gear weighs probably about 20 to 25 pounds, depending on what extra stuff I put in it today. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking around with 20, 25 pounds of extra gear every single day, right on my shoulders. Awesome, and I'm sure when you um, become a police officer, you go through a lot of very specific training mm -hmm. um, to utilize all of that equipment. Yes, in, in Oregon, if you ever wanna become a police officer in Oregon, we have um, our police academy that's in Salem, and that takes about four or five months to complete. Um, you're there five days a week, you live up there, and they teach you how to use every single one of these things, plus all about how to be a police officer. All right, awesome, thank you. All right, and we're getting ready to cruise on over to the other schools in the district. Um, do you wanna tell us about this piece of equipment, your ride, it's so cool looking. Yeah, this is my patrol car. I think, um, I know you guys all noticed the cool digital wrap on it. I think um, some students in the past actually voted on what the wrap was gonna be. So this is all by the student's design. They picked out what my car was gonna be. That's pretty cool. So up here, I've got my lights. You guys all know what the red and blue lights look like. Here I've got a spotlight, helps me at night. You know, if I need to see in the dark, really helpful there. So we're inside the vehicle. Tell us what we're looking at here. Alrighty, so first and most obvious is we've got the laptop in there. 
that helps me you know it's my computer i can see all the calls coming in i can have gps i can look up the whole internet i got everything that i need to do really important systems is there really awesome tool up there up top right behind the steering wheel that is my radar equipment so for all those cars speeding through town helps me really find out uh, what cars are speeding and how fast they're going if you look down on that bottom panel there that's going to be uh, my radio my lights all that cool equipment to figure out uh you know how to stop cars how to get on the pa and call them out how to talk to my dispatchers and other officers just like the radio i have on my vest it's one in the car as well um anything in the back that we should look at yeah so back here this is where i take all the bad guys so if you're coming in my car and you're going to jail you're sitting right here you got nice plastic seats um nice and comfy there got some seat belts for you pretty much there you go don't worry i don't only take bad guys in my car if you guys need a ride i'm there for you okay awesome thank right, you friends now we are over at Sayusla middle school and i believe we're gonna go check out your office and how you serve this specific building yeah let's go check it out all right so now we're inside officer coon's office and tell us what we're looking at here behind you and maybe just a little bit about how you serve this school specifically yeah so this here is my my door to my office if you've ever been in the middle school you've probably seen it pretty obvious right here so if you guys ever need me this is probably where i'll be and um, the same matching artwork that the students got to select for your car it, is on this door that is so cool yes it's perfect just so you really know where I am. <laughs> okay, and then on this side, um, one of my hobbies is I collect patches. Um, patches from all over the United States or even around the world. So here's just a small collection of some of my patches that I've collected kind of over the past few years. Have you, were you a member in all of those units or are some of them from acquaintances? You know what it reminds me of is it, re those patches remind me of, again, the military, you kind of collect patches from your units and then coins. Mm -hmm. Do you all get coins in the police force as well? Yeah. So the patches, I actually have only been, I think a member of probably got two or three of these agencies. But um, between police officers, there's a thing where you uh, trade patches yeah. between agencies. Um, it's very similar to trading coins or something like that. So these are just, um, I treated uh, patches with all these different officers. And then we actually get um, a coin that she's talking about. This is our Florence Challenge coin here. Oh, that's so cool. So I got this when I got hired. And you're supposed to always have this patch with, or this coin with you. And then you just end up trading it with... Um, you know, other officers or anything if they ask. Can I, so there's a close up of that patch of the coin and then let's see your shoulder patch because oh. I love the city of Florence. It's like one of the most beautiful police officer <laughs> uniform patches I've ever seen. And I love that you mentioned the, um, the trading of the patches or the coins because just like in the army, um, we always say we are one team, no matter what a branch of the military you're mm -hmm. in, we are one team, we all work together. And so that trading of the patches and the coins just kind of emphasizes that camaraderie and yes. how we are all here to um, protect and serve and, that, and that's awesome. Thank you. Anything else you want to say about working out of the middle school here or? Yeah, so at the middle school, you know, if you guys ever ever need me or even at the high school or elementary school, if you guys pop through, I'm always here. You know, you can pull up a, a chair, bench, we can have a talk, figure out, you know, whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, I'm always here for you guys if you need me, okay? All right. All right. Now we are over at the high school. Hey, so do you want to start by telling us what are we looking at here? So here we're looking at, it looks like a bottle cap mural um, of a whale and ocean riding off into the sunset. It's like a really cool project done by the students here. Some of you may even have helped create this. Yeah, I gotta get a close-up on this thing. Look at that! It's all recycled bottle caps. I am blown away. Amazing. Okay, and do you want to tell us about how you serve this school in particular or some of the events um, and such that you are looped into over at the high school? Yeah, so my job at the high school is really being there for the kids for however you guys may need me. Um, during this pandemic, I've been doing a lot of uh, home visits, welfare checks, to really just check in on 
you guys and see how you're doing. I know it's been a really tough year, so I'm just trying to stick, figure out how I can help you guys, make sure you guys are getting what you need um, for me. But you know, in every other school year, um, you'll see me or one of our other officers out at the football games, uh, big events, graduation, um, prom, leading the uh, graduation parade that's coming up here in a couple weeks. Um, just anything fun to keep us involved with, you know, you guys and your ongoing achievements. I love that. I love the spirit of community. I love Florence. I love all the community reciprocity and uh, just how the police department ties into um, service work and um, all the good stuff going on here over at the high school. Thank all right, you. students. So thank you so much, Officer Coons, for doing this virtual field trip and just kind of showing us around a day in the life of Officer Coons in our school district. Do you have any final parting words for our viewing audience? Yeah, thank you guys so much for attending this virtual field trip. I can't wait to do real field trips with you guys, hopefully soon, next year, whatever it may be. Um, you know, like I said earlier in this video, you know, anything you guys need from me, I am happy to try to help and get it. You guys need to talk, you need to do whatever. Uh, contact your teacher, principal, whoever. Uh, they'll get a hold of me and I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys. Um, I'll be there for you guys, whatever you need, okay? Thank you so much for your service, Officer Coons. Bye. Bye.